You know, it gets very difficult to deal with people that are trying to always uh, play games. Uh, I would say, actually, from experience, you can measure ethics, as crazy as this may sound. You can measure ethics. People could be ethical up to a certain amount, but when it's so much more, they start twitching. You understand? It's like, ah, the guy would tell you, I'm ethical. Oh, but this deal has got a million dollar profit. All of a sudden, he's doing things that are not so ethical. You see my point? So I always believe you must enforce ethics. In other words, when I do something, uh, okay, let's say for the private fund, for the private fund. I don't tell people, just give me the money, I'm gonna go do this. No, it is filed with the SEC. That means the SEC knows who I am. You go to sec.gov, you see Sharif Medawar, the Medawar International Group Security Income Fund. It is filed. They know who I am, what I'm raising, and for what reason. They have the, the copy of the private placement memorandum. You invest the money, you get a promissory note securing your money against all the properties in the fund. It, I show you how you enforce ethics on me. You see my point? And vice versa. When I'm giving some money uh, to somebody, I say, well, can I have a security? Well, don't, don't worry, trust me. Well, if I trust you and you're sure gonna pay me, I just need that in writing. Get all your contracts in writing, get all your business in, in, in if it's an agreement, put it in writing, especially if it's a family member. Don't tell me it's family. That is especially it's family member. Go talk to any lawyer and they'll tell you how many sibling lawsuits they got to handle, right? So, so and what I mean by you can measure it, let me tell you about me. I'm sitting one time in the dentist office. I look at an interesting article and I wanted to, t to cut it and I wanted to take the whole magazine because it's another good article and I'm thinking, they don't need it. See, I'm starting to justify it to myself. I'm gonna just fold it and put it in my pocket and you know, it's a big deal. You see? Because I'm thinking, it's a $1.50 magazine. Oh, it was $2.45, what's the big deal? And then I said, I, I gotta catch myself. So I went to the girl and said, do you mind if I take this magazine? And she said, oh, I don't know. I'm new here. She can't make a decision. Susie, somebody want to take a magazine. Now the whole office of the dental office got to know. There's seven people. It's like guy wants the magazine. There are so many magazines. But I, I, I just want to feel good about it. And she comes over. The other lady's like, I don't know. Can, do you have an iPhone? You can take a picture of the article. Or and I said, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's, it's online. It says here, the thing dot com. I said, don't worry. Take a picture. Take a picture. I go in with the dentist and I come out. And she said, oh, you can take it. By the way, you can take. You know how I felt about myself when they okayed it? Okay, now I'm okay, I'm not gonna, you see my point? But, I mean, you, you read about uh, Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs, one of the, the most admired um, CEO in the world. You know his problem with his uh, ethics? When they gave him stock options, and somehow, we don't know how, they got backdated two weeks because the stock was at a lower price. And next thing you know, when he exercised the option, it was a difference of some 30 million or 20 some million. And they caught him, the SEC caught him. They said, you backdated. And he said, I didn't know. You see, he is very ethical. Uh, but up to 30 million, I started twitching. Ah, I'm gonna backdate it to make an extra 30 million. You understand the point? By the way, his salary is $1. Talk about lifestyle, when you ask about lifestyle, how can I just find, he say, my salary is $1, but the rest is all stock options and whatever. How could he do something like this? And I think the SEC and the regulators thought about it, said, okay, this guy's a successful guy. He's a symbol for American freedom and ingenuity. If we really hit him hard, it's gonna be an insult to the entire country. I think that had to be the, 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 the process that went through their mind because they blamed it on the CFO and and they let him go, just with a little penalty. But, but you see my point? So what I'm telling you is, don't allow people to start twitching when you start doing deals and you grow. And 50 million in commercial real estate, I hear a lot of fraud. I hear a lot of opportunities for people to come and tell me, if we do this with you and then put the price like this and back out this and you give us that, and I listen very carefully and I say, can you put that in writing? No, I can't. Then I, I can't do it. But the bank won't know. Well, see, I gotta disclose everything to the bank.